You won't be seeing me on a wrecking ball, but you will be seeing me in something. Hey, I'm Megan McKenna and I am obsessed with Miley Cyrus. So I started being obsessed with Miley from the age of, oh, when was her first Hannah Montana episode? I must have been about like 13, 14 at school. And I actually did a Hannah Montana advert. So I got to actually see the first Hannah Montana episode before anybody else. And I just fell in love with her. So I went to a full-time theatre school and obviously we was, you know, put out auditions and stuff. And Disney Channel was always kind of like involved with the audition with the auditions at my school. So I got to go to Disney Channel Hub and got to audition and I actually got the part and you know, I had to learn the words best of both worlds. So I knew the best of both worlds, which was obviously Hannah Montana's first song. I knew it back to front before it even hit the screens. I think that's why I'm a little bit obsessed with her. My favorite music video of Miley's would definitely be Wrecking Ball. I just think it's so iconic. Her on that big ball, I love the way she's in like a white tank top and she's just like, just chilling on that ball. And yeah, it's just a really emotional music video. And actually I got to work with the lady who wrote Wrecking Ball. Uh, we've worked together for, on one of the songs for my album. So yeah, it feels very, very special that I got actually, that I actually was able to work with the lady who wrote that. I definitely would be ballsy enough to make a music video like that. I've actually got a few little things on my sleeve for my next few releases. So yeah, I'm really excited. You won't be seeing me on a wrecking ball, but you will be seeing me in something. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just a fan of Miley because her whole family are kind of from Nashville and I, I love America. And I love the fact that they all kind of, they're all singers, you know, even her sister, Noah Cyrus, I love her music as well. I just love her journey, really. I love the fact she's grown up on TV and she's kind of found herself and changed her style throughout her career. And I, I really love that. I've actually been to Nashville now the past few years. And yeah, I've been to so many places where she's been, you know, some of some of the, uh, the bars that she's sung at. And another cool thing is I've performed at Bluebird and obviously that's such an iconic place, you know, where Taylor Swift has performed there and so many amazing big music artists. So it's a very, very interesting place to go. So I advise people to go there on holiday, it's very cool. Miley has definitely influenced me with like the way I go about life. I feel like she just doesn't really care and kind of just does what she wants to do. And I feel like you should always go about life doing what makes you happy. You should never go into things, you know, if you've got anxiety or double down in yourself, you should just stick to what you want to do and don't let anybody tell you differently. Miley's sound has definitely influenced me as well with my music, you know, the way she writes. You know, I have done a country album, but now moving forward, I'm doing pop music. If I met Miley, I would definitely say just like, thank you for a bit like for releasing all your amazing songs. That they've really got me through stuff. Like Miley's Bangers album, I think was just so iconic. I think a song that has like, just given me so many good feels and just kind of got me through life as party in the USA. It's one of them songs when my friends come around, if we're gonna be going out or we're having drinks, that is the song. No matter how old we get, we're going to always start the night with party in the USA. So I have recorded a, you know, a ballad version of this, which was the original version and um, that everyone heard. And then I did an upbeat version, which I have um, recorded. Um, I actually love the upbeat version just because it just gives me it gives me butterflies in my belly when I play it, when the drums come in. That was actually the way I originally wrote the song, but nobody knows that. It's just the way I performed it on The X Factor was like a ballad. So yeah, I'm very excited for people to hear this upbeat version. Filming the music video for this was, it was just so amazing. You know, I did it in a cathedral church. I designed everything, you know, down to bringing the flowers. There's going to be like a flower kind of floor where I'm laying on and down to like how I wanted my outfits to be and, you know, down to the special effects. So there's like magic and stuff. So yeah, it really means a lot to me. This song means a lot to me. So I wanted the music video to be perfect. My next big goal um, to what I would like to say all I ever wanted is this, is for my live shows to happen this year. Everything was put on hold last year because of COVID, but I am 
hopefully um, opening for Lionel Richie. So it's a huge deal for me. Because of the pandemic, obviously, I wasn't able to go to America more. So I've been writing over Zoom um, with everybody, you know, in Nashville and LA. So it's been really cool. You know, I've just been at home and I've been nonstop writing. I've literally got albums worth of songs. So, yeah, you will be getting an album from me this year and I will be releasing something every month leading up to it. So. There are some upbeat songs that are going to be in it, um, which I think a lot of people want to hear an upbeat song from me. One of my songs is about my mum. I wanted to write an appreciation song about my mum. So yeah, my songs definitely have like all different elements of me from the moment I went on TV, from loads of ups and downs in my life, everything kind of just pushed into one. So yeah, I mean, I've just got so many different stories. So I suppose it's a good thing because there's going to be loads of songs. There definitely will be um, a collab down the line with me. I'm not saying right now, but I think, oh, someone that I like really love their voice and I've always, always loved, loved his voice is I love Lewis Capaldi. I think he's just insane. I think he's an amazing songwriter, the way he plays, the way he sings, everything about him, his emotion when he sings. Yeah, I love that. And I definitely take inspo from that. 